This video was brought to you in part by the channel MTG Anarchy, where we take a look into the world of Magic the Gathering and throw a little bit of mischief and chaos into the mix. Hello everybody, my name is Michael and welcome to Is It Worth It? Where we talk about some up and coming new product coming out from Wizards of the Coast and ultimately decide if we feel the product is worth it to get or not. 2020 is a very weird but interesting year for Magic players around the world. Whether it's all the craziness that's happening outside of the game of Magic the Gathering, to all the craziness that's happening within the Magic the Gathering community, towards even the product of the game, a lot of crazy things have happened. But I think the craziest thing that we as Magic the Gathering players have seen throughout the community, as well as with Wizards of the Coast themselves, is the amount of product that Wizards of the Coast is pushing upon us. From the multiple versions of secret layers that we've seen, to the high priced point product that Wizards deems worthy to whales everywhere. As a Magic the Gathering player, as well as a Magic the Gathering content creator, I would have to say, there is just too much product. I mean, come on Wizards. It's just not only too much product, but product fatigue and wallet fatigue. We don't want to go ahead and have to decide what product to get from you guys. We just want to get the product, but if you guys release too much product, then what the heck are we supposed to do? And that's why I thought to myself, are any of these up and coming products actually worth investing in getting, or are they just full of hot smoke? Well, that's where this show comes into play. You see, I want to make sure that whenever it comes to a new product Wizards of the Coast puts out for people to want to invest in or want to get, I want to make sure that that product is, for me, in multiple ways, more than one. Whether it's playability, collectability, or even price value, I want to make sure that the product that I end up getting is one that is suited for me. But with that said, I have one question that I'd like to ask you. Is it worth it? Let's actually start things off right by introducing the introductory set, Core Set 2021. Now I have to start this off by saying Core Sets usually have the stigma of introductory players. This is meant for new players to get into the game of Magic Gathering. And originally, that's what Wizards of the Coast had done for these types of products, to introduce mechanics that people were used to, to introduce some fun, playable cards that people could go ahead and enjoy while opening up packs and just drafting and having fun with. But apparently, Core Set 2021 didn't get that memo and decided to yeet all that information right out that window. I guess Wizards of the Coast wanted to introduce the harsh realities that Magic players have to deal with everywhere to new players getting into the game with the following. New cards that are actually powerful from the get-go, allowing formats to be broken even further and more of a lack of diversity with deck creation and deck building to people playing the exact same deck with the exact same cards over and over and over again to the inclusion of high priced high sought after reprints that aren't gonna only have a variance making the values of said reprints go lower so more people could afford it which is a good and bad thing at the same time but also cards that in my opinion shouldn't have been brought back in a standard product because of how powerful and how broken they were back when they were in a standard type format oh and let's not forget the inclusion of a collector's version of this product which if you have more money and you can afford it then you can go ahead and get one of these boxes one of these products to play with the exact same cards in different arts all snide remarks and sarcastic tones aside, we do have to ask ourselves the question, is Core 2021 worth it? Is the product of Core 2021 actually worth to get whether it's the regular version of the product or even the collector's version of the product? In order to go ahead and answer this properly, let's actually bring up those concepts that we brought up earlier in this video. Those concepts, once again, are playability, collectability, and price value. In terms of playability for Corset 2021, I feel that if you are a new player 
and you're wanting to get into the game of Magic the Gathering, this is the perfect set to get into. The reason why core sets are usually the sets that we want individuals to get into when you're starting out with Magic the Gathering is because of the fact that they help new players understand the mechanics, the rules of the game. They have a basis of what is to be known for this game of Magic the Gathering to help you start that knowledge, that insight. Ultimately, for older players such as myself, it's not as useful, but for newer players, it's very useful to understand and grasp the mechanics of the game and how the game actually works. In terms of playability for older players, um, when it comes to Core Set 2021, I'd say if you find that these cards are interesting to play with, to draft with, to cube with, or anything like that, then go for it. I think that that is something to always look for. If they have fun interactions and fun things that you want to go ahead and include into decks that you already have, then yeah, it's perfect to go ahead and jump into Core Set 2021. If you feel that as a player, whether you're new or whether you're older of a player in general, and you feel that nothing interests you within the set when it comes to playability, then the next step to look into is collectability. In terms of collectability for Core Set 2021, for new players, I would say this is also a set to get started with if you're looking to start a collection. Honestly, from what I've seen based off my own personal experiences with core sets in general, is that a lot of these cards tend to get reprinted over and over, whether with the same art or with different art. And in my own personal opinion, instead of having to re-get that card over and over again, I'd rather already have the card, so then that way, if the core set prints that card yet again, then I already have a copy, I already know what deck that it can go into, or what deck it may go into. Again, that's the benefit of having a collection, having the cards already available to you that you may not have available in the future. Also, and this is something good to keep in mind, whether you are a newer player or an older player, there's a lot of good reprints, including Ugin the Spirit Dragon and Grim Tutor in this set and they are big pickups to include whether it's just the regular version of the arts or even the alternate versions of said cards to me i would say even if you're not invested in the whole product these cards in specific are cards that people are going to look over they're going to go for and honestly they're good includes into any sort of collection that you may have. So Core 2021 to me seems on a collection front a good pickup to go ahead and get. This then leads us to the topic of price value. And in terms of price value for Core Set 2021, whether you're a new player or an older player, to me this is a product to pick up. This is worth the value. This is worth the price. With the amount of reprints that are going into the set, as well as new powerful cards that are coming into multiple formats in general, honestly, the value of a lot of these cards are going to stay, in my opinion, pretty high over core sets that we've seen in the past. Now, please keep in mind that the variance or version of the card will matter in this case due to there being the collector's version versus the regular version of core 2021 collector's versions of any sort of product that we've seen in the past have gone ahead and set the price values higher than what they would for the regular versions of boosters or regular versions of cards so if you were to go ahead and invest in a product like this, then please keep in mind that the value of your cards may be determined based off the version of the card themselves. But ultimately, I think with price value, you're going to potentially get your value back from a product like this in potentially the short term, maybe even the long term, just depending on if it's the collector's version or if it's the regular version of the product of core 2021 but to answer the proper question is core set 2021 core 2021 worth it in my opinion i'd have to go with yes there are too many good things in this favor in core 2021's favor and honestly i feel that if you don't invest in something like this if you do not pick this up if you don't get this product 
to me, it's going to be a loss that you may be regretting in the future. But that's just my opinion. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below what you think about Core 2021, as well as if you would get the product or not and why. But that was Is It Worth It? here on the channel of MTG Anarchy. Now, before you go, I would actually appreciate it if you can go ahead and like and share this video as we do want videos like this to get out into the algorithm here on YouTube so more people within the Magic the Gathering community can actually go ahead and see videos like this as well as other content that comes out from here on the channel, MTG Anarchy. And speaking of content, if you like this type of content or this is your first time here on the channel, I would appreciate it if you could hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can keep up to date with any new videos that do come out here on MTG Anarchy. And finally, if you are able to do so, as long as you're financially stable, of course, I would appreciate it if you could go ahead and support your local game stores. Honestly, we're still dealing with the things that are dealing in the world currently right now. And honestly, I'd rather go back to my local game store. So I'm supporting them in my own little way. But if you can and you are financially stable, I would appreciate it if you could go ahead and support your local game stores. But with that said, this is Michael here on the channel of MTG Anarchy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would appreciate your time and I do hope to see you again soon. Thanks again.